Hello mga math enthusiasts! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang math ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. At andito na naman si Teacher Maria ang inyong math buddy para tulungan kayo sa mga problema niya sa math. And for today sa video, ang pag-uusapan natin ay tungkol sa real numbers. Pero bago ko simula ng video tutorial na ito, mga anak ko, siguraduhin na muna ang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. O, pindutin na. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi kang maging updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Okay na, na-like, na-subscribe, at na-hit na rin ang notification bell. Kung okay na, tara na, simulan na natin. Okay, ang reference ng ating mga definition dito ay ang ating FIBOT module uh, Region 4A Calabarzon. So, credits dun sa ating module na yan for uh, the definitions here. Now, we have here real numbers. Oh, uh, no. We have to uh, define first what are real numbers. Ano ba yung mga real numbers? So, real numbers comprise of any number. So, kahit ano daw yan na number that you can think na kaya mong maisip at magamit araw-araw. So, eto, yung real numbers, taglay niya na or siya, yung lahat ng numbers na meron tayo. So, it is a compilation of all types of number. Kung baga, siya yung parent, okay? Siya yung nanay ng lahat. Or kung baga sa universe, eh, siya yung universe, okay? Kasi kinocomprise niya yung lahat. Each real number represent a unique number along the number line. So, bawat isang number daw, meron siyang uh, unique position sa number line. So, kung meron tayong number line, bawat isa dyan, bawat isang klase ng number, meron siyang kinalalagyan dyan. Now, on the real number line, a point corresponds for every real number and a real number corresponds for for every point. So, bawat isang point doon sa number line, may katumbas na real number. At bawat real number, may katumbas siya ng point doon sa number line natin. Okay? So, since ang real numbers natin, siya ang universal set natin, yung universe natin, so, meron tayo ngayong subset niya. So, we have here subsets of real numbers. First of the subset, we call it the natural or counting numbers. Ulit, natural or counting numbers. Now, ano-ano ba to? These are numbers that we use in counting. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Number na ginagamit natin pambilang. <coughs> Okay, so we have there 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Marami yan. Kasi nga, hindi lang naman 10 lang ang binibilang, hindi lang naman 20. Pero, ang pagbibilang hindi nagsisimula sa 0, ha? Walang, o oh, sige, count of tayo, tapos yung isang tao dun sasabihin 0. No, it starts with number 1 and then uh, pataas na siya. Now, dahil wala nga katapusan yung counting numbers natin, we write by three dots, o yung tinatawag nating ellipsis, to indicate that the pattern continues indefinitely, na hindi ito natatapos. Marami kasi yan. Ha? Now, this set is also called the positive whole numbers and the set that does not include zero. So, pag natural or counting numbers, hindi kasama si zero. Ha? Pero these are positive numbers. Okay, ayan, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, pataas, positive number siya. Now, kanino naka-include si 0? Pag included na si 0, ang tawag na natin dyan ay whole numbers. Ulit ha, natural and counting, hindi kasama si 0, nag-start ka kay 1. Pero kapag whole numbers, consist niya, kinoconsist niya, lahat ng counting numbers at 0. So, pag whole number 
O pag whole numbers, you start with 0. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then ellipses kasi nga madami yan, di ba? So, it continues indefinitely. That's the whole numbers. And then, you recently lang yung pinag-aralan natin, yung integers. Okay? So, the set of natural, natural numbers commonly called positive integers. Okay? So, eto, yung mga 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 natural siya, di ba? Kinoconsider din natin siya as positive integers. And then, then, pag integers na, pag lahat ng integers na, kasama na yung opposites nila. Yun yung negative, okay? And, syempre, yung zero. Zero is part of our integers, ha? Pero, wala, wala siyang sign. So, tandaan, si integers is composed of negative numbers, zero, and positive numbers, okay? Now, we have this one. Eto, last week lang. Pinag-aralan natin yung rational numbers and irrational numbers. Now, uh, rational numbers are numbers that can be expressed as a quotient of two integers. So, pwedeng ma-i-express siya into fraction form. Okay? So, eto yung mga numbers na terminating siya. Terminating and can be expressed as a fractions. Okay? For example, 4 over 5. Rational siya kasi fraction siya. One half, fraction din siya. Uh, two over five, rational din siya. Zero point eight. Okay, dahil ito ay terminating, ibig sabihin natatapos, rational din siya. Zero point sixty two. So, eto ay rational din siya. Now, irrational numbers are numbers that cannot express as quotient. So, meron kasing mga numbers na hindi natin kayang i-express as the quotient of two integers. It includes the non-terminating and the non-repeating decimals. Okay? Ito yung mga hindi natatapos. Now, their exact values cannot be expressed as either ter terminating or repeating decimals. However, you can use calculator to find their decimal approximation. So, ini-estimate or ina-approximate lang natin. Number whose roots cannot be extracted. Kunyari, square root of 2, ba? Wala tayong square root nyan. We cannot think of a number that when you multi multiply by itself, ang lalabas ay exactong number na perfect square, di ba? And are not only irrational na are not the only irrational numbers. Hindi lang sila. For example, okay, ano ano pa yung mga irrational number? Yung pi. This is irrational number. Yung letter e also is an irrational number. Tapos lahat ng hindi perfect square are irrational numbers. Kung yare uh, square root of five. Example din yan, Square root of seven. So pwede din namang zero point eight. 6, 2, 3, tapos yung may mga kasunod pa. Ganyan. Kasi hindi sila natatapos. Okay? Now, answer the following questions. Okay. Let's try to answer this ha. What is the smallest number that you know? Do you think it is really the smallest number? O sige, mag-isip kayo ng number na sa tingin nyo siya na yung pinakamaliit na number. Ako kung iisipin ko, siguro zero. Okay, do you think it is really the smallest number? Sa, sa tingin ninyo, ito na kaya yung pinakamaliit na number. Tandaan ninyo, nasa number line, di ba? We have here zero. Then we have one positive number. Seto, di ba? And then ito, negative one, negative two, negative three. Habang, lum ah, habang lumalayo yung negative number kay zero, natatandaan, in-explain ko to, ang value niya lumiliit habang lumalayo, ha? Ngayon, masasabi ko ba na si zero na yung pinakamaliit? Hindi, di ba? Pwedeng mas maliit pa sa kanya si negative 3. Pero may numbers pa after negative 3, di ba? May negative 10 pa. Pero may numbers pa after negative 10. May negative 1,000 pa. Pero may numbers pa after negative 1,000, di ba? May negative 1 million pa. So, kaya ba nating ma-determine yung pinakamaliit na number? I think we cannot. Okay? So, do you think it is really the smallest number? So, zero is not. Okay, mag-isip kayo ng sariling smallest number nyo, ha? Now, what does a zero stand for? O, ano ba yung ibig sabihin ng zero natin? Uh, zero means, ano? Sige nga, ano? Wala. Empty. Di ba? Empty. 
no value, di ba? Wala siyang value eh, kasi zero siya. Or it serves as the arbitrary number. Arbitrary number. Kumbaga, ano siya, uh, yun yung, ano natin, yun yung sign natin na yung afternoon, yun yung positive, uh, tapos yung sa kaliwa niya ay mga negative. So, para siya yung uh, sign natin, kumbaga yung symbol para malaman natin na ganun nga. Okay, na no, walang laman yun, na wala siyang values. Zero yung nagre-represent. No. Now, when you subtract 7 from 15, what is the difference? O, natatandaan to, 7 minus 15. So, we do KCC. Keep. So, 7 change plus 15 magiging negative 15. Okay? Having this one, 7 plus negative 15, di ba? We can only, ah, uh, no. In adding integers, kapag pareho ng sign, we add. Pero pag magkaiba, we subtract. Dahil ito ay positive, ito ay negative, then we subtract. So, 15 minus 7, that will be 8. Okay? Sino mas mataas? Si positive, si negative? Si negative. Kasi, di ba? Same sign, add and keep different sign, subtract. That's why we subtract. Use the sign of the bigger number. So, 15 is bigger than 7. Then, you'll be exact. Kaya, negative yung ginamit natin. Now, how about if you subtract 7 from 15? So, isubtract daw natin yung 7 from 15. So, 15 minus 7, ang dali lang nito, this is only 8. Okay, now, are fractions considered as integers? Can we consider fractions as integers? Okay, I don't think so. So, this is no. Okay, now, do you think fractions? Uh, do you know fractions? Give some examples. So, fractions are, yes, do you know, diba? Yes. O, ano mga example ng fractions nyo? Huwag nyo nang gayahin yung fractions ko. Mag-isip kayo, ha? Two-third, four, two-thirds, so four over five, seven over eight, one and two over six, and then pwede ring eight and four over nine. O yan, I have my own example. You do your own example. And that's it, mga anak ko. Sana natulungan ko kayo dito sa inyong first uh, learning task. At kung natulungan ko kayo, please comment yan sa ating comment section ha. Help me up this video, mga anak, by leaving a comment. Kailangan ng video na ito ang mga comments ninyo para ma-up siya at makita din naman ng ibang mga students nang nagsisearch tungkol sa lesson na ito. And syempre, baka naman nahihirapan na yung mga classmates nyo, please naman i-share ang ating channel at i-share itong video natin sa kanila para naman may guide din naman sila. Huwag maging selfish ha, kagaya nga ng lagi kong sinasabi, share the love of math. So, you should share it. And please follow me sa Facebook page ko. Baka naman mga may Facebook kayo dyan, Love Math TV. Search nyo lang siya and then click follow okay at syempre kagaya ng sinabi ko kanina let's spread the love of math thank you and bye